There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, aboran, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and visible chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome back. In the last video, we talked about the reason why people consider ethanol a renewable resource, and we outlined some of the uses of ethanol as a fuel. In this video, we're going to cover the next stop point, which is quite similar, quite related. It says, assess the potential of ethanol as an alternative fuel and discuss the advantages and disadvantages of its use. So that word, that verb assess, kind of means we have to make a judgment. Like, do we think it's going to be used quite a bit or not used a lot in the future? So use a potential means future potential kind of, kind of thing. So make a judgment on the potential of ethanol as being an alternative to petrol as a fuel. And we have to also discuss the disadvantages. So what are the good things about ethanol and the, the advantages? So good things and bad things about ethanol and its use. So first, before we start talking about now, is it going to be used more and more in the future or not? We should talk about the advantages and disadvantages. So some of the advantages were that it had complete combustion. So what that means is if we have ethanol, um, complete combustion means that we go from ethanol to CO2. So complete combustion, everything, all those carbons and ethanol go into CO2. So we had two carbons and ethanol, and from those two carbons we produce two CO2. Now incomplete combustion, such as that happens in petrol, means we go from petrol and we produce something called either CO, that's carbon monoxide, or just carbon suit. So these two are more dangerous, more harmful to our health than ethanol. And that's good because, yeah, so the complete combustion happens in ethanol. That means we produce CO2, which is a bit pollutant, but less pollutant than CO, which is carbon monoxide, or carbon suit, which can be produced by petrol itself because petrol produces incomplete combustion. But I'm going to talk about more of that in the next video. But for now, just one of the advantages is that um, ethanol makes complete combustion, which means it is does not produce carbon monoxide or carbon soot. One of the other advantages is that it's renewable. So we grow ethanol because we can grow corn. And anything that we can grow is usually means it's renewable, so we can make it over and over again. Whereas fossil fuels, because they come from fossils, that means it's going to run out eventually. So the supply itself will only last for maybe another couple of decades. In 50, 60 years, we should be quite low on fossil fuels. Whereas, yeah, whereas ethanol is renewable, which means we can use it over and over again. Another benefit is it has less, again, that word less is important, CO2 emission. So it was not neutral. So we discussed in the last video, now, is it neutral? Does it produce absolutely no carbon monoxide, uh, carbon dioxide? And that was wrong because there is some carbon dioxide being produced because we have to transport it. We have to ferment, use energy to ferment it. We've got to make fertilizers which use energy. But overall, it's less than petrol, less than fossil fuels. But it's not neutral. And also because ethanol acts as a solvent. So it's a good solvent. And solvent is something that can wash away dirt, for example. So most of your shampoos and everything else would be something that acts like a solvent. And that means we can actually clean the engine. So um, remove some of the dirt of the, from the engine, which makes it last a bit longer. So those are where the advantages. Complete combustion, which means all the ethanol is turned into carbon dioxide. None of it is turned into carbon monoxide or carbon soot such as the case with petrol. It's a renewable resource, which means we can grow it and we can make it more and more of it in the future, unlike fossil fuels, which will run out eventually. Also, it produces less CO2 emission than petrol. And it also cleans the engine because it's a solvent, which means it can remove dirt from our engine. These were the advantages, but it also has some disadvantages, disadvantages as well. First of all, it's more expensive um, because with Fossil fuels, all we have to do is drill, and drilling isn't that expensive compared to growing and transporting and, and 
fermenting and distilling. So at the moment, it still costs a lot more to produce ethanol than it does petrol. And so ethanol itself is more expensive, which is a disadvantage. It has a smaller heat, molar heat of combustion, which means that for the same amount, it produces less energy. So it produces, produces less energy, or for the same amount, we can travel small distances. It also uses farmable land, so that means we would grow ethanol crop. So crop is some any plants that we grow. So we would grow ethanol crop instead of food crops. So that's not necessarily that good because if we grow ethanol crops, that means we have less food for this, for um. I have a brain freeze. Uh, we have less food for feeding the people which is pretty bad because we're actually increasing our population and we need to be able to feed more people. That's not a disadvantage. It uses farmable land. And higher than 10 to 15% ethanol blends require engine modification. So we said that 10 to 15% is the most most of our cars can handle at the moment. If you want to be able to handle 56, 70, 80%, we actually need to change our engines, which would be quite expensive if we have to change all our engines. And our disadvantage was that Water usage, so obviously if we want to um, grow plants, we have to use water to grow plants. And that is a bad thing in Australia. We are, have, we are a dry continent. We don't have that much water, so we might not be able to afford using water to grow ethanol plants because we have to conserve that water. Right, so these were the advantages and disadvantages. So there were quite a few. And now we have to assess the potential. We have to make a judgment. Will it be used more and more in the future? And this graph here shows that is actually there is a big increase. This was the 1970s here. 1970s. And this here up here is 2000, I think 2007 it says. So you can see there's a big increase. There's a big increase in the consumption or the production of ethanol. 1970 2007 but overall there's still some reasons why it's not going to be used that much at the moment and some of the reasons were farmable land that's a big one we can't afford to sacrifice land to grow ethanol crops because we need to use that to grow f food crops um, another disadvantage of that might be a problem was that it's more expensive and that we need to have engine modifications to be able to handle a bigger load of ethanol. So these three points were reasons why at the moment it doesn't use, it isn't used too much. But if there are some ways we can overcome that, so for example, if we find a way that we can use weeds, which are you know, things that we don't want in general, so weed plants or um, corn waste, if we can use those two to produce energy, or to produce ethanol instead of using food corn, that would be good, right? So corn waste and weeds, if that we can use that, that'd be advantageous. Um, at, if we can bring down the price, if we can lower the price, lower price of ethanol compared to petrol, if we make petrol, it might become more expensive because uh, our supply is going down and ethanol might be made cheaper in the future. That would be another advantage which might come in the future. And if we make design new engines which can handle bigger loads, so new engines which are efficient when it comes to dealing with um, ethanol, again, that could be an advantage. That could be a good thing. So these things are in the future. They're not here at the moment. So for the current usage, it's, there is not much potential at the moment. There's only slight potential. Whereas in the future, there might be much more. If we can have a different source of ethanol, not the farm land one, then one that, the part that needs a lot of land, maybe get, making it from waste stuff, such as weeds and corn waste. If we can lower the price, and if we can make some sort of new, really effective engine, if those yeah, things happen, then we might have a case for using ethanol as a future source of energy. So I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.